Hey, Trentsman, do you use Twitter? Oh, yes, I sure do. Check out this one from last night. I had a hot dog at lunch today. My mom's making hot dogs for dinner. Hashtag double dog day. Yeah. Hey, seven likes. That's pretty solid. Did you hear that Elon Musk offered to buy Twitter? The Tesla and SpaceX guy? No, I haven't. Why would he want to buy Twitter? I'll explain. Elon Musk is a big Twitter user, has over 83 million followers, and he's criticized Twitter in the past for censorship or flagging or removing certain questionable posts. He offered to buy Twitter for roughly $44 billion in order to make the company private. This means that the company would no longer be publicly traded on the stock market. The stock market is a place where companies sell parts of their business to members of the public called shares or stocks. If a company goes private, those shares are no longer available to the public for sale, and the company no longer has to go by certain rules. The stock market is super complicated, and I don't have time to get into all of that today, but those are the basics. Anyways, Elon Musk calls himself a free speech absolutist, meaning he believes that anything should be allowed to be said by anyone on the platform. And in his mind, Twitter should be a free speech platform. What's a free speech platform? Basically, the First Amendment would be in place and all protected speech would be allowed. Oof, that seems chaotic. Well, there are definitely supporters and there are also opponents. Let's take a look at the two sides. Before we dive in, let's take a look at the First Amendment. This amendment protects freedom of religion, freedom to protest and petition, the freedom of the press, and free speech. There are some types of speech that aren't protected, and while it can get a little foggy, a few of those include not being allowed to make serious threats, incite violence, or ask anyone to commit crimes. Now let's see where Twitter fits in. Their community guidelines have rules indicating what is and what is not protected speech for users to include in their tweets. For example, in school, you're not allowed to say and do certain things because it violates the school rules. And if you violate those rules, there are consequences. Same currently goes for Twitter, except it's not a school, it's a company. If you break the rules, there are consequences, and you can be suspended or even banned from the platform. Many people believe that having these rules is a way to keep hateful speech and bullying off the platform. Others believe that having these rules is a form of censorship, that their First Amendment right is being violated, and that they should be allowed to say whatever they want within the rights of protected speech. Elon Musk is one of those people. If Musk is in charge of Twitter, it's very possible that he will turn it into a free speech platform, meaning that people can essentially say whatever they want, whether it's true or false, with no consequences. Well, it sounds like we're going to really need to brush up on media literacy skills then. Yeah, as if media literacy wasn't already crucial in the age of social media, this Twitter free speech situation is really going to force us to analyze what we read and reflect on that information before we act. Makes you really question what should and should not be on social media. Yep, things will likely stay divided, but if Musk's Twitter free speech plan works, who knows what the future of social media will look like. Hmm. Wonder if any of my tweets violate the current rules of Twitter. I think your hot dog content is totally fine. Phew, check this one out then. Nice one, Trenton. A real beauty.